Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a different type of a chart, bar chart, to your product analysis sheet to look at different flavors and products all in one chart. So let's begin. So here I am again at my hub. I'm going to click on my app to open up my app, TC Ice Cream app. I'm going to go right to the product analysis sheet. So there's two things I need to do to create this new chart. I'm click edit, go to master items. I'm gonna create a new master dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and click master items, click dimensions, click create new. And I'm gonna do a single master dimension. I'm gonna call it flavor dash product. I'm gonna click here in the field. I'm gonna open up the FX. I'm gonna write an expression, if you would. And so here's how we're gonna do it. Very easy. I'm gonna take in flavor and automatically defaults what's, what's the fields that begin with the word flavor. I'm gonna select flavor name. I'm gonna click shift F7 for the, um, shift seven, I'm sorry, for the ampersand key, single quote, space dash, space, single quote. Again, shift seven for the ampersand key. Then I'm gonna type in products looks like product name okay notice what happens so i'm using this field and a dash in between space dash space so what this is going to do is create a master dimension with the flavor name dash and the product name okay and if you notice down here in the left corner it says okay basically that means my formula that i created is okay it's it's valid so i'm going to click apply and i'm going to just click create I'm going to close my wizard here. And if you notice here now, I have a new dimension called flavor product. It's different than this dimension. If I click and edit this dimension here, <clears throat> notice this is a drill down. So remember when you click flavor name and it shows you all the product names related to that flavor? That's much different than this one. This one here is a, just gives you a, the name of the flavor, again, a dash, and then the name of the product, okay? That's the difference between the two. So how do we use this new dimension? Okay, simple. I'm gonna click on my pie chart here and then click the dots, be a little smaller. Click on the bar chart here, I have click the dot here, make it a little smaller. So we'll put this new visualization right here in this space. Charts, bar chart, drag and drop it. And we'll say, we'll say flavor dash, it's uh, very simple, okay? So what's my dimension? Well, what's my dimension is the new dimension I just created. Click add dimension, flavor product, add measure as we've been using, quantity sold. Then we're just gonna do a sum. And I'm gonna click on appearance here. I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do my presentation with select as a horizontal. And I'm gonna also show my value labels. Like I always have done, I'm gonna go up here to my data. And I'm going to select some of the quantities sold. And I, I like to, you know, again, I change my labor header to quantity sold. And as a number, and again, that's a whole number here. And let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Click done editing. And notice what it does. So now it shows us the flavor in the product. So vanilla dash ice cream gallon, vanilla dash taco vanilla dash sandwiches okay so let's let's do some analysis for one minute now obviously this was like click on vanilla here and click the check mark it does the same thing it does filter out on vanilla and it shows me only the flavor products that are vanilla it shows them here too as well again i have it highest to lowest same thing nothing really changes this is more of a, an easier visual for me to refer to um especially when it comes time to one of the couple exams you'll be taking. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click here, state. And just for fun, let's look at the sales year, 2019. Let's look at the state, uh, let's look at Georgia. So 2019 sales year, state is Georgia. Looking at our three cities in Georgia here for distribution. I'm gonna go back to the product analysis sheet and 
yeah, it shows me, you know, the flavors and order of vanilla, cookies and cream and chocolate chip, et cetera. But look over here now, let's do full screen on this chart. Notice what it does. It says, hey, for 2019, the state of Georgia, here it is in order here, quantity sold, highest to lowest by flavor product, okay? So, hmm, I have here. So the top selling product in 2012, 2019, for the state of Georgia was vanilla ice cream, then vanilla ice cream sandwiches, then vanilla ice cream cups, mini cups, vanilla ice cream tacos, then cookie dough ice cream pints, etc. So it kind of gives you the highest selling combination of flavor and product, highest to lowest. Okay. And I will click, and of course, let's, let's go, excuse me. let's say if I want to look at three different flavors, let's say I want to look at cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, and Rocky Road only. It does the same thing, but ignores all the other flavor pro flavors. And of course, it will ignore all the associated products and products associated with those flavors. So it's only focusing on <clears throat> these three flavors for Georgia for 2019. And again, let's do full screen one more time here. Notice it changed, no vanilla's on here. No other flavors are on here. Again, only cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, and Rocky Road in those flavors. Now notice what's the highest one, cookies and cream, ice cream mini cups, and add down the list. So it, it does it by, again, flavor product combination, not just by flavor, and then, okay, I pick a flavor and it shows me all the products highest to lowest. This does flavor product combination putting together this master dimension and creating a simple bar chart like this. There we go. Escape here. And that concludes this video. Thank you.